Okay guys, next we're going to add some doors and windows uh, to start to make it look a bit uh, more realistic. So, um, if we go back to our ground floor plan, um, you can see up in the ribbon bar that there's a door and a window tool. So, um, so once we click on door, you can see drop down um, in the properties bar, it gives us a few options, what um, the height and the width of the door that we can drop in. And as you see, as you hover it over the door, uh, over the wall, sorry, if you press spacebar, before you click, it'll change the swing of the door. And also if you move it um, inside and outside of the wall, it'll change where the door is going to be placed. So once you've decided where you want that, you can drop it in. You also see that as we drop it in, it's putting a door tag in and um, giving us uh, the number that each door is. So to get rid of that, and we're going to have to go to our, our VV, our visibility settings, okay, annotation categories, and find door tags, and just turn them off in the view. Okay, so that's better. Now to change that type of door, so we can click on it, and we can say edit type. Now you can see if you scroll down here, make sure whenever you edit anything, that you duplicate it and call it, let's call it, um, you know, one, one meter. So always duplicate the item that you're um, going to edit. And then once you get down to the dimensions, so we can change the width here to one meter, which is good. Now, as you can see, all that did, that just changed um, this door here. So you can see the thickness of that door changing. Now, if I hadn't have duplicated that, it would have changed all of those doors in the project. So you have to, really important, remember to duplicate. You're also able to um, load different types of doors. So let's click on this one and say edit type and we'll go load. And Revit comes with a, um, a metric library here. So if you can't, if your metric library's not up, just click it in the um, quick view panel. And you can see here that it's um, Revit's got all these models that you can drop into the project. So we'll go to doors and if you just click once it'll give you a little preview of what your door is going to look like. So you've got bifolds, double flush, etc. So you can scroll down sliding doors. You know, they've got many different types of doors that you can actually, revolving door, you know, that you can drop into your project. So let's load this one and then we'll say OK. And we can see it's dropped it in. It's dropped it in here and we'll just drag that so that it's inside um, our project. So yeah, and you can see and also it's got the arrows um, indicating which way the doors are going to open. So if we go to 3D you'll be able to see that this is that sliding door we loaded and this is just the generic door that, that we dropped in um, previously. So go ahead now and so you can uh, drop them in, in in 3D as well. So go ahead and, and drop in a few more doors, you know, all around your project. Just um, have a bit of fun. So also you can see that when you're in 3D, you can actually move it up to the next level and it's snapping to that level. So the same applies with Windows as well. If we just escape, click on Window, you can see it's, it's got this um, window loaded or we can change the type of window that we see and go ahead and we can drop them um, in in 3D um, as, as we also would be able to place them in plan. So you can see because we dropped them in 3D if we go to plan we can see that it's actually dropped in the detail of that window and door for us. Okay so that's windows and doors.